Okay. Yeah. We'll see if that makes sense. All right, everyone. How does that sound now? See how you look better. How now, brown cow? No, it's still, still it's real static. Still static. Yeah. What the hell? She's still um, by the seashore. Do you have an audio interface, Jeff? Uh, I just have my board. Okay. Because I know with my audio interface, when my mic will sometimes go over a robot, I just have to unplug it from the, the cord from the PC into the interface and plug it back in. Uh, yeah, let me try that. One sec. Oof <laughs> Is it affecting everybody or just Jeff? Oof da, indeed. We're good now. Yeah, oh, it sounds it. good now. All right, cool, awesome. No, it was our audio on our everyone. end is fine and clear, but on the stream it was robo static. All right, anyway. Was, yeah, just standing. <clears throat> All right, so sorry about that, guys. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, uh, carry on. All right. Should yeah. we do a little bit of like a recap of what we just discussed? Um, Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> Not a word for word, but... So when we last left our intrepid heroes, <laughs> Os <laughs> Osric and Verm were talking about uh, a bit of the job. Uh, Osric is telling a little bit of his backstory, and Verm is talking about uh, the things that this party of Expendables has gone through. Uh... Right now, they're talking about the topic of uh, lycanthropy. So Osric is explaining his uh, his dealings with were rats. For anyone who doesn't know, Osric is a character I uh, I am pulling in from a previous campaign that I ran through with most of this group. So you can go back and watch the whole back catalog of Osric and Lionel, uh, Genmare, uh, Grayax, and. Who am I forgetting? I don't know, man. Who are you forgetting? Who am I forgetting? Oh, yeah. The, the pink-wigged barbarian. Uh, yeah, the pink-wigged barbarian himself. <laughs> uh, <Bob> Bell. <laughs> God, what a great crew. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Osric continues. He says, uh, yeah, you got to kill him with silver. Uh, and, uh, and again, I don't have any offensive magics to speak of. I can, I can distract people. I can slow them down. But more importantly, um... More importantly, I, uh, Miss Mosbecki told me that, the, that I would be most valuable to you as a, as a student of the Arcane, so I, I led off with that. Um, but uh, I, as, if we're speaking frankly, I've it's not exactly something I'm proud to admit, but I've done my fair share of killing. And yeah. I understand the need for uh, a warlike mindset. I'm going to once again point to Bandit, and I'll say, if you die, he'll bring you back from the grave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Osric's face goes pale. What? If I die? <laughs> um, he's, he's a little stricken, but he, he moves on. He's like, uh, no, it's, <laughs> it's not something I want to think about too much. Um, you, sp you spoke about how your friend evaporated somebody with their magic as a cleric of Torm. That one there has done that on multiple occasions. He's also a cleric, but for the grandfather tree. Grandfather tree. Yeah. Is he is Band Aid here, uh, listening to this conversation, or is he doing his own thing at the moment? Who else? Who all is here with this conversation? Torrent at the uh, bar. Torrent would be near the. No, I think Torrent would be near the table. He was leaning up against the railing. Yeah, Band Aid is there, but he's not like in the conversation or around the table. He's kind of just leaning up against the wall, back over, kind of near the corner. Okay. It's a and perfect Bork time to say something completely off about him. And how about Borg? Borg is over by the bar, probably not really paying too close attention to what's being said. Gotcha. Um, Osric says, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys seem like quite a and I don't, I don't, I don't want to be rude. You guys are quite a mean crew. Uh, 
some some very tough individuals, and he makes a character of like flexing muscles. <laughs> I'll um, I will introduce my my crew because I only said their names. Let's see, that that's Torrent. He's a he's a drunken. He, he's drunk, and he'll beat the shit out of you if you get close to him. Confirm points um, to Torrent. Torrent's like a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, Yen, who left here earlier, you you had a brief conversation. You want to know where she was going? She um, she is really good with two weapons at once. And Bandit, like I said over there, is our. I I, I said I was the leader, but he he really is. He he's the <laughs> he's the wise one out of the group. Oh, and then you're the leader. No, I, frankly, I don't know what the shit I'm doing half the time. Um, that's Borg. He uh takes hits and deal or er, and hits back. Um, and I have a longbow. Hmm. Okay. Um. Wow. Should I should I go say hello to to him? And he's pointing towards Band Aid. Like if if he's the leader, you know, if, I was told. Miss Mosbecki told me there would be an interview <laughs> process, um, so I, you know, I feel like it's a bit more informal now. She made it sound like it was going to be some sort of, you know, trial uh, of sorts. <laughs> well, you still haven't drink. You still haven't drank the, the ale yet. That's your trial. Oh, oh well, if that's all it is. All righty then. Uh, and Osri picks up this massive mug, and he takes a sip. Uh, what does it taste like? Hand sanitizer. <laughs> Drinks the um, the hand sanitizer. He uh, he, he takes a sip. Uh, he, he's rather experienced with with um, alcoholic beverages, having been a barkeep. And uh, yeah, he takes a sip and he says, uh, "It's at least it's nice and cold." I've always heard that Mister Durney has uh, a, a that he uses magic to keep his beers cold. Um, I, I was experimenting with that. The, the closest thing I got to that was um, was like free, freezing a box uh, for a little while, and then uh, every now and then I would go back and and, uh, and use a, a scroll again. Uh, but I never could learn. I could never learn the the incantation to keep it cold permanently. Um, but yeah, this this is good stuff. Good stuff. You know, when I uh, worked as a barkeep, we. Our, my, my crew and I, we went out uh, on a mission. It's a funny thing, it was, it was total happenstance. We came across uh, a help wanted ad for defending some crops out in a field, right? And and as he's talking, Osric is uh, sipping uh, the beer. So he, he will he will drink the beer. Um, but he continues on and he's like, uh, So we went out there, took about like three or four days to get out there. It was a bit of a trek out into the woods and the wilderness and the fields. When we got out there, funny thing was, it seemed like there was nothing happening. Then all of a sudden, it was like this crack of lightning, and something flew by, and all of the hops in the field were gone. It was it was hops for beer, right? And all of the hops disappeared, and there was like this, this shimmering portal, like a hole in the sky, like right there, hole in space and time or something. I I couldn't describe it to you exactly. We ended up getting sucked into it, and we. I don't know where we were. We were suddenly someplace else. And there were these little creatures. They were little... They were like little pygmies or something. And one of them had hooves. Um, and we, uh... We, we had to fight them. They were basically a band of thieves and bandits. Uh, sorry. This this is good, but, but it's... Whew, I'm getting a little fuzzy already. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's strong. No, it is, but it's good. It's it's good stuff. I honestly, I haven't had anything to drink in a while, so I guess it's going right to my head. Anyway, so we ended up uh, rescuing uh, some people from 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 some some fairies or something. I I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what they are, but there are these otherworldly creatures. They looked like girls, but they were smaller and they had wings. Pixies something. We made an arrangement with them because they made this magical ale. And, and a couple of weeks later, we had it shipped to the bar. 
I don't know exactly how they did it. But it is the best stuff that I've ever had. And it was sparkling. It tasted like... Like fermented fruit. And... Spices. Uh, it was... It was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. Uh, what did you call it? Osric thinks. I can't remember. I can't remember. I think... I think I just called it the Magical Isle. I, I don't know if we came up with a name for it or not. You know... A lot of my memories are fuzzy. From that time. I feel like it happened years ago rather than months ago. But... I don't know. I took a blow to the head or something. Uh... And, and ever since then... Sometimes I, I don't know... Exactly what's going on. It's, it's hard to explain, but don't don't let that trouble you now. That's just for that's just for um, that's just for like day-to-day -day things. As, as far as encyclopedic knowledge and, and arcane knowledge, I'm I'm sharp as a tack, quick quick as a cut. You know, I'm a, I'm a whip whip snap when it comes to identifying uh, arcane runes. I can I can read things that no one else can read. Uh, I I'd be really good for your adventures. I think. And, and of course, like I said, you know, I'm good in other ways, too. And Osric kind of unsheathes his dagger that he has on his pouch and then slides it back into the sheath. Hmm. At this point, he's about halfway through with his, with his mug of ale. I'm just waiting for Jeff to say the con save. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, wake like? up. Roll me a constitution saving. <clears throat> so, Osric... Yeah. All right. Now, was this uh, so? Osric has uh, stout resilience, which should give him a bonus, <laughs> or not a bonus, but advantage against a poison effect. Would you say that that applies here? Eh, sure, why not? I'll allow it. All right. So I'll go this ahead and do time. this. Class here. We'll see what happens. I will, because Dernan put something in it because he knew who you were. <clears throat> He's just, you hear Dernan kind of mumble under his breath. He's like, oh, I should have taken an arrow to the knee. <clears throat> No, uh, you're, you're keeping yourself together. Uh, you know, your time as a bartender, uh, you recognize this ale is not the, the common, uh, run of the barrel ale that everybody seems to partake in. This is stuff that has a little more, uh, stoutness to it. It, uh, it's the good stuff. Um, you're you're keeping yourself together. You can feel um, inebriation starting to set in, but you're not um, inebriated yet. Or throwing up, so that's good. Yeah, or throwing up. <laughs> yeah, but he's only drunk about half of it too. Yeah. So yeah, yeah uh, I'm called turn <laughs> over. So he walks over to the table and pulls up a chair. I think Torrent automatically knows exactly what Osric is drinking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh no. Torrent would say, uh, oh, you're having the Dwarven Ale. You're a master of drink, but are you a master of drinking? <laughs> <laughs> well, according to what Mr. Verm has told me, that would be your position, sir. Uh, I am a master of tasting. Um, as, and and um, I can tell you this much. This is, this is pretty good. Pretty good. It's very good when it's cold. And that's what I really like about this place. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Now, as far as drinking goes, you know, I can have a little bit to drink, but I'm. Well, as you can see, uh, there's not a whole lot of room for beer within me. And he holds up his tiny arms. <laughs> <laughs> I you want the other time arms? Away all night. Hey, Osric. Hi. Theoretically speaking, this is just theoretical. If you were to get into an arm wrestling match, would you be good at it? Uh, Osric considers this for a moment, and he says, uh, well, I guess it depends on who I'm wrestling. Am I gonna be arm wrestling Toby? No. Because Toby could probably win a jumping contest, but I bet I'd smother him in an arm wrestling competition, and he slams his little arm down. The little fist's probably half the size of Toby. <laughs> Torrent, execute order 66. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Verm. We can try. 
It Come just on, don't it's, just, it's just good fun. It's just good fun. Come on. Do for the fans. How much dwarven ale have you had tonight, Mr. Torrent? Um, That's true. I'll get another one. I'll make him <laughs> chug it. <laughs> We should keep track of gold expenditure too. This is not cheap. Yeah, that's stuff. fine. No, I'll I'll spend gold on it. <laughs> this is worth it. Jeff, do you want me, do you want me to not mark off? I don't mind uh, a bit sure. of a friendly challenge. I imagine this is all part of the trial, Miss Mosby. How much do you want me to mark off? Uh, gold per per deal. Just gold, okay. One thousand gold per bug. <laughs> I'm gonna buy sixty of them now. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> ale for everyone. We're gonna have just Torrent. up night here at the bar. <laughs> yeah. Show them show em how you really do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um. Torrent bits this one. I hope he rolls a fuck at that one. <laughs> yeah, Torrent not. Torrent will. Try to drink to <laughs> down to the level that Osric is at in his mug. It's about half half a mug, and Osric got a full size mug uh, compared to uh, you know the children's mug that he normally gets. <laughs> you have to think about the body proportion size here. Yeah. Torrent needs <laughs> yeah. to drink like two or three times the amount of Osric to stay even. Uh, well, that's why I mentioned Osric got a full size mug because that's what. Go. Yeah, <laughs> just drink the whole thing. Oh. How fast do you drink it? Are you like one of those guys who can just like shot even pace? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna like put my head up and I'll I'll scream to around the bar. Halfling or tor or water genasi, put your bets in. Nozer turns and he's like, "Yeah, pick me. I can do it. <laughs> I'll take you down anytime, you drunken master." Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> If only Yen was here to see this. So you want me to? You need roll, want me to roll a con? Oh, don't, don't let me forget, Vermite. I want to go and um, speak with Miss Yenia later. If yeah, that's no problem. Not I'll, it's not I'll too late. Try, I don't really know where she went because there's a. I mean, Waterdeep's a pretty big place. I... Maybe it'd be better if she came when she came back. You'd see her. Would you happen to know? You don't know where she might have gone because I I know where some of the libraries are. I could probably I could probably track her down, but. We'll, yeah. we'll discuss this. We'll discuss this in private. Oh, is it is her project related to the the thing we were just talking about? Yes. Oh dear. She doesn't. Um. Well, never mind. I suppose we will talk about it later. Yes. As, as the crowd <laughs> is starting to come in, so it's like the conversation just kind of gets killed by by the event that we started. <laughs> Osric wheels around and he's standing on his chair. He's like standing up on his chair and he's like barely over the top of the table. <laughs> All right, let's go! And he just puts his arm up. It's, it's a little bit off proportion. <laughs> I imagine maybe some of the citizens might like bring up a couple of like big huge blocks for him to stand on so he's like level with like <laughs> where he's supposed to be when people are sitting down. <laughs> mugs just turned upside down. Yeah, they strap mugs under his feet. Actually, <laughs> you have you have stilts. A little stilts, so yeah. <laughs> fully extends his stilts, so now he's like up where he's supposed to be, and he's standing on top of the chair. <laughs> I don't know why I let you get me into these things. Bro. <laughs> Make a con save, Torrent. <laughs> that's all. We, that's what we want to see. Oh. Wait, well, you drank the whole thing? Yeah. Well, so will I. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> starts drinking and it's I'm not gonna lie it's not easy <laughs> but he manages to down the whole remainder of the thing what have I done I'm gonna roll again I Let's turned see. another party member into an alcoholic no <laughs> join us <clears throat> one, one of, of us. us one of us <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So, do you think I failed that saving throw with a fifteen? Mm, no, not yet. All right. Osric has a trick up his sleeve, uh, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. So, yeah, he puts his arm on the table. He says, "You're not chicken, are you?" You can tell he's starting no. to get a little bit up. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic 
a hand yeah. slapping together. Uh. <laughs> All right, I wanna, I wanna clean, I wanna clean arm wrestle. All I'll, right. I'll, I'll, I'll hold their hands together and I say, when I let go, you start. <laughs> is anybody else uh, from the group watching? Did, is maybe Borg taking interest? Like, huh? <laughs> this puny little hat <laughs> going up against a trained warrior monk. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna trained be trained and battle tested. <laughs> Trained huh. drunk monk. <laughs> you no, know, yeah, he he does take interest. He'll move over here. So that torrent. Who do you got, Borg? Oh. Mm, not sure yet. And Osric looks up to Borg and is like, "Oh, you're fearsome." You're fearsome, big guy, and you're next. I take, <laughs> or you you can take winner. <laughs> Therefore, you're next. <laughs> I point at you with his other hand. <laughs> I'm like, going to. Up. You're like towering over him. <laughs> I'm going to look at both of you and I'll be like, "Are you guys ready?" As ready as I'll ever be. And he's looking torrent right in the eye. Then I'll let go. <laughs> 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 well, well, what happens? How do we do this? Athletics, right? <clears throat> uh, yeah, or strength checks, whichever one. <clears throat> uh, athletics would work then. Um, here it comes. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh, oh no! <man>. Slam! Ostrich's <laughs> 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 Osric, as soon as Verm releases his hand and says go, immediately your arm is halfway down towards the table as Torrent just kind of is just staring at you with a slight smirk on his face. <laughs> Osric is working hard to like maintain proper arm wrestling form, so he's like he's just like sitting here just trying to hold it. You can see his little veins flexing. Uh, is it over with one roll, or are we are we gonna keep going? No, you, you go again. You're only halfway. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, grits his teeth and he says, "Not today." <laughs> and Torrin says, yeah, "You're a little stronger than you look." Don't you? Talk little. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty close. Pulling it back, we're about. I guess we're about halfway then, right? This is like a, a clock. About like about like start <laughs> position. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So now, yeah so almost. Go? Yeah, almost back up to starting position. Uh, yeah, continue. <laughs> Roll again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ozer can't even say anything. He's just like. Screaming. <laughs> the table is with you on this one. <laughs> he's getting all, all red, red in the face. And <laughs> it's like he's starting to sweat. He's got that beer sweat. <laughs> and the, I guess one more mm -hmm. to see if so this this ought to be the last one, right? If if, if Osric Hold gets on. you. Let's see. Oh, he uh, might. Oh, God. Hard. Uh oh. I'm rolling. Oh, oh, oh no. back to bad. middle. <laughs> oh, after screaming, screaming, and then he pauses to take a breath, and you immediately just retake the, the center. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go again. Come Who's on. gonna win? This is. Osric oh, so starts pushing, pushing, pushing. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, one more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ooh. Oh, oh man! Oh, uh, I'm not like one. this. Er, he pulls back. Uh, I'm just gonna look to Borg and be like, "When is this gonna fucking end?" Is this back to middle now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Borg will uh, look over at Firm and just wink at him. Yeah, I realize uh, it's, I it's a pretty evenly matched situation. It's only plus two versus plus four, so yeah. it's a fairly balanced. Uh, standoff. Well, that's why I called. That's why I called him over Ooh. here. Uh, Ozer keeps losing. Oh, wait, back wait, wait. On the Did ropes. I oh, I pushed. It. Yeah. So this is back. Yeah, we're, we're back. We're back. We're uh, we're yeah. back to your halfway point. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So if you if you win the next one, then I lose. Your right. break point. I got you on the ropes, little man. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> that's low. On the cream of the crop. That's low. Uh, 
Oh, bam. Bam. Oh. Finally, valiant effort, but Torrent wins. And when you when you slam it down, Osric kind of like falls over with it because he's so small and he can only do so much. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to quickly react to steady him so that he doesn't fall out of his chair. <laughs> yeah, you, you can, you can, he's like, <laughs> for God's sake, that was great. Bring me another <laughs> beer. <laughs> <laughs> bring me another one. Yeah, I'll bring you another one. I'll bring you another one. Points up and board. He's like, it looks like it won't be you and me yet, pal. But tell I'm you what, I'm kid. just warming up. I'll bring two other ones over. He's like, doing this with his hand, like, ha, ah, jeez. You got a grip on you, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna Sorry, kid. place... <laughs> I'm gonna place those two here, and I'm gonna say, "Borg, can you can you uh referee this one?" Wait, who are you? Mm, what, if you wish. What's what's happening? <coughs> what do you mean? B Borg is gonna hold your hands together again. You guys are doing it again. No, oh, we're going again. No, oh. no, I was just joking. But <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Borg might step in and go up against Torrent. No. By all means. I'll walk <laughs> over to I'll walk over to Bandit. done this before. <laughs> I'm getting deja vu. Who who all made money just now? And he's like eyeing the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't mean to let you down. I'll walk over anyway. to Bandit, and I'll say <laughs> I, I kind of kind of like him. I don't know if you've really met him, but seems to be. An expendable. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> are, are says, you, oh, sorry. Were you talking to Band-Aid? Yeah, I walked over to you and I was talking to you. Are you speaking of expendable as uh, somewhat crazy and without thinking? Can you read my mind? <laughs> that is not possible, but uh, <laughs> not without magics. But he, he reminds me much of you. It's like a more responsible version of me. Well, that is yet to be seen, but uh, certain if you say so. <laughs> what are we going to do about Yen? Yen must make the decision for herself. We cannot make it for her. If she does the research and she is comfortable with it, then I made a promise. She will have her blood and she will, will be able to do as she wishes. Nah, I think that's fair, as long as it's reasonable. I can no longer live, or I can no uh, less live your life than you can live mine. So therefore, we cannot live hers for her. That is true. If, well, if, she, is, if she is willing to take on the consequences of this uh, decision then it is hers and hers alone to live yeah it is her decision um might be best if you come over and see this halfling i think i might have um may or may not have said some things that he might be scared of you now Come now, Verm, you know better. There is no need to be scared of me. He doesn't know that. I mean, I only spoke the <clears> truth, <throat> to be fair. Um. <laughs> Depends on which end you're on. Yeah. If you're a statue, you, you best be scared of Band-Aid. <laughs> Very well. Uh, let us go S speak to the, the tiny one. You are the little one. He is the tiny one. How tall is Oz without the stilts? Osric is quite short. He comes up to a whopping three foot one. <gasps> I'm taller than you. 
It's very small. Without without the stilts. Actually, you know what? I, I made that number up on the spot. But when I first introduced <laughs> Os- when I first introduced Osric, um, it was noted because uh, Lionel went before Osric in the character inter- introductions that day, and Lionel mentioned that he was like a seven foot tall. Uh, uh, feline, uh, what's the name of that race? I keep forgetting the name tabaxi. of it. Tabaxi. Tabaxi, yeah. He was a seven foot tall tabaxi ranger. And then Osric uh, came in and countered with like, and whopping three foot one, 30 pounds dry, you know, like all that stuff. He's like the exact opposite. <laughs> so I, I, I'm going to go ahead and say he's three foot one, but we may change that. We will retcon that if, uh, if I find out his actual height. <laughs> he's pretty short. Very, very, small. very childlike. I think as you guys walk back up, Torrent would be mid-conversation with Osric. He'd be like, So, you said you used to own a bar? I did, I did, yeah. Oh, you should have seen it. It was called the Unlucky Die, and it was one of the most interesting places I've ever worked. Um, is it still around? Well, the building is there, but it's sort of fallen into disrepair. Um, that's... I... And then Osric just kind of, like, stammers for a second, and he loses his train of thought. And he looks at you and he says, Yeah, the, bu- the building is there, but I, I, I don't work there anymore. Um, yeah. And he just kind of shrugs. And he takes another sip of his beer. As the um, other two sit down, Torrent trails off. I want to own a bar. Goes to see Master Woodchip. Let's make a, <laughs> let's own a bar. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, so Osric is about halfway through his second beer. I'm going to make another constitution check. I just want to see if anything weird happens tonight. He's That's still doing, he's still going strong. I think I'll do the next one without advantage. All right. So yeah, he's, he continues on. He starts telling you about the place. He, he mentions uh, the boy who used to work there. He mentions that there was like a, there's like a, a friendly ghost that used to work there. Apparently it sounds like a fantastical tale. Maybe it sounds like BS. I don't know, but he's very, he's very enthusiastic about it. He talks about how uh, people from the, the City Watch used to go there all the time. Uh, he said that he, uh, he entertained uh, the Griffin Guards, which is a group of people, a group of uh, like soldiers who defend the city by flying around on griffins uh, oh. stationed at Mount Waterdeep. Uh, so he, he goes on and on. I don't mean to interrupt you two, but um, I figured it might be nice for you to meet the, the other party member. <laughs> By this point, Osric is a little bit intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Just uh, a little. Just a little bit. He turns, uh, he's, he's got like his jacket off and hanging on the back of the chair. Uh, so he's, he's wearing this, uh, He's wearing like two shirts, like one of them is brown and underneath it is like a green one. They're both a little bit tattered and old. Uh, looks like some cinch marks or something on the, on the side, on, on the side of his, his torso. Um, you can see he's armed. He has uh, several daggers as well as a rapier uh, dangling off of his, uh, his left and right. He has like little pouches and stuff and then he's got a, a booklet that he keeps in its own separate pouch, uh, right, right on his front hip pocket. But yeah, he turns and he says, uh, well, well, come on and have a seat. What are you drinking? And he's talking to Band-Aid. I will have nothing, thank you. Um, welcome. Uh, my name is Bandal Daid, and uh, those here at the table, they know me as Band-Aid. Okay, Mr. Band-Aid. If, if you want, I can call you that as well, or if you prefer more formally, I can call you Mr. Dayton. Um, my name is Osric, Osric Thornbottom, and he extends a hand uh, to shake. Uh, he's, he's as he reaches up. towards your hand, uh, you notice the enormity of his hand. He's mm-hmm. seven foot seven, uh, about 300 to 325 pounds very muscular light blue fur um, with dark blue skin Uh, he has small maybe three inch antlers that come out of the top of his head 
and he wears a scarf, has a uh, uh, battle axe uh, that's on his right hip, excuse me, left hip, and a um, crossbow slung around his back with a uh, quiver of arrows. Osric will, um, in lieu of giving you a handshake, he will uh, kind of grab several of your fingers and attempt to make a handshake that way. <laughs> and it, you can make that of what a, you can make of that what you will. But he's he's making an attempt to be uh, professional <laughs> of, of sorts. But you can tell immediately that he's a little bit intoxicated. Um, earlier, when he first laid eyes on you, you noticed that he was watching you with a bit of awe, just because of your your stature uh you know you're you're carrying yourself with an etiquette perhaps of reverence um uh, or uh, maybe humbleness i'm not sure but osric regarded you then uh with a bit of awe and he didn't really say anything to you uh if he had a chance to earlier but now he's a lot more casual so that's like a clear indicator that he's a little sheets to the wind if you will yes, so you uh you wish to join our merry little band that's right i am going to be an arcane consultant for you if you'll have me mrs mouse becky uh put out a call uh, so to speak she said she had been talking to some other clients but that i she said that i was a very good prospect because of my arcane talent and uh, she said that uh, that she uh, would recommend me to you so yes and she has um and i haven't seen her tonight and osric's looking around you know that she is sitting in the booth close by with uh with zorik but she hasn't come over or anything they're having their conversation in private osric has completely lost track of where she is yes well um that is all well and good uh all we ask from you is that you huh? can do and will do yes. what you say you can do. As with everyone here, as with everyone at this table, and those who are not have performed admirably at their job. And it is only because they have that we are all alive. Yes, Mr. Uh, Verm, Mr. Verm here was telling me about some of your exploits, some, some, some daring stories. Um, as I, I don't mean to be too forward with my concerns, but it seems like you guys do some pretty dangerous work, uh, in you know, intentionally, so to speak. Uh, you guys are actual adventurers, and that wasn't exactly made clear. To me by Miss Mosbecky. Now I'm not backing out of the out of the job at all. I just wanted to get a better sense of of what it is exactly that you're doing and what you're what you're seeking to achieve. Uh, are you just exploring the the yawn and portal, or are you looking for something in particular? Uh, because but you know we could. I think it's better to do research and and really try to track something down before you go. Uh, wandering off to dangerous places and, and putting yourselves in danger. Uh, I think that's really important. Preparation, that is. Preparation being um, the cornerstone of a of a good adventure. So, if you could tell me a bit more about what you're looking for, you know, perhaps we could spend some time at Topside and maybe suss out what we can, you know, in libraries, or we could maybe go and talk to some people that I that I know or that I that I used to know. I'm sure they'd still talk to me. Um, you can tell. I know you have a high insight, Fundal, so you can tell that he's a little doubtful when he says that last part. <laughs> well, tiny one, uh, I will tell you this: that uh, we are looking for something. Yes, and yes, we seek what is below in the yawning portal. But let me ask you this. Are you afraid to die? Osric watches you for a moment and 
Well. And he kind of like manipulates his cup. He's kind of looking into the cup for a moment. He says, <clears throat> "Thanks for the I reset, suppose, Jake." I suppose I am. Um, isn't everybody a little bit afraid to to die? It's it's not so much the dying. It's it's for me. It's what we would leave behind. And I've been in situations myself where where death was a real prospect, and maybe not for me, but for um, some friends of mine. I've been telling some of the folks here tonight about uh, a group of friends that that I used to to work with. Uh, in a bit of an adventuring capacity, we kind of got wrapped up in an adventure of sorts. Um, and there were some pretty close calls. I have thought a bit about you know, the prospect of dying, and I have, I don't like the idea. I don't know who would. Uh, I don't know who would be comfortable dying. I mean, I... And then he pauses. Uh, and again, you have a high instinct, so you know that he's a bit... The next thing he has to say is, like, really important to him. He says that, uh, actually, there is... There is someone I know who... Who is fine with death. Uh... And it made me very uncomfortable uh, working with him sometimes. He... He... He had something bad happen to him when he was young. Um, or happened to a family member of his. And... It colored the way he looks at things uh, in a bad way. So I I think... It's not so much about my fear of death. It's... it's I, if, if I die... And I leave, have to leave someone behind who, who would mourn for me. I would hate to see what would happen to them, you know, after I'm gone. So, I think keeping people alive is, is very important. Um, and I am afraid to die. Aren't, you know, I mean, aren't we all? And Osric looks around. And again, he's I've, a little drunk. I've died three times. Mouser just stares at you. <laughs> oh, oh, Fantasy Grounds College. Thank you for the follow. I died a few days ago. We are actually using <laughs> Fantasy <laughs> Grounds, <laughs> but uh, it's wheels are at the not on the stream at the moment because they're RP. And that is a very good answer, a tiny one. But let me ask you this. Would you lay down your life for a friend? So if I'm pausing, me as the player, that, that means Osric is also pausing. That's a good question, and uh, I don't know if I know how to answer it. I don't know how Osric would answer it. Uh, basically, um, Osric says, uh, he says, I would, for a, a real, a true friend, I would. Uh, and since you have a high insight, Vandal, I can let you know that he's implying that you guys are not his friends yet. But he would do it for a true friend. Yes. And the reason I ask you this is because there is no greater love than this, than a man lay down his life for a friend. He looks around the table. These are my friends. So, I can tell you, if you join us, I will not hesitate to lay down my life for you. Does that scare you? No. Um, I can tell you that I, w I would not... You know, I've been in some scrapes. And I have a bit of a nasty habit for staying alive uh, when I shouldn't. Um, I can tell you that personally. Um, but I, I would not put myself in a position where you would ever need to do that. Unless I absolutely had to. So, you know, when it comes to that sort of thing, I, um, you know, we're, I, I know that we're, I, I might have just met y'all, but 
we we would be teammates to start with, and 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 teammates are supposed to look out for one another. So so there's that. If you can give me your word that you will do everything within your power for these I can give you my word that they would lay down their life for you could you make an insight check Vandal with advantage er, certainly Hang on, my fantasy grounds moved around on me. You said insight with advantage? Oh, yes, please. How far has Torrent drank his second drink so far? Is it gone? No, I'm attached. No. Oh. Been really wrapped conversation. And now it's getting lukewarm. Yeah. Torrent will still drink. Whoa. Uh, Osric says, um, I can give you my word. Uh, and when he says it, uh, you, you gain through your insight check there that he is unsure as to whether he told a true statement or not. He seems completely lacking in confidence. Something about this conversation has shaken him, and he probably doesn't even know exactly why. But you can tell that this matter is not settled. May I tell you, tiny one, that the day will come for us all. For dust we came from the ground and dust we will return. It is not something to be feared, but something to look forward to. Maybe that is why I have the outlook that I have. You don't need to know so much about me, but I too have come from the dead once upon a time. So therefore I have seen the other side and it is nothing to be feared. Hmm. Osric takes a, a little survey of the people sitting here. He's, he's watching Vandal, obviously. Uh, he, he eyes over to Torrent. He makes his eyes over to Verm. Uh, he looks up at Borg. He's, he asks Borg, Hey, um, have you ever, um, you know, Kick the bucket. With this group, have you been brought back from the dead as well? Mm, many times. Too many to count. Osric's eyes go a little wider. He's just looking back and forth, back and forth across these these people and Sorry, did you have something else, Borg? Thought I heard him pipe up for a second. He did. Oh. <laughs> um, hmm. Already. Osric, Osric goes back to uh, Bundal and says, um, I've never, um, I've never died yet. You guys have apparently died several times. That's... That's a little heavy for for barroom conversation, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's just kind of holding his beer at this point. He's not drinking it anymore. It is not to bring fear to you. It is to let you know what you are about to get into, tiny one. I uh, I understand what you mean. Um, I, I truth be told, I this isn't something I was expecting. 
This is a bit heavy. Um, maybe I could take a li <laughs> maybe I could take a little time to to think about it. Then you know they you know they say in the interview process, um, it's not just you interviewing for the job. You're you, you're also interviewing the employ the employer. You know it's got to be a good fit in both directions. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you know and. And I like you guys. You guys seem like you have a lot of fun. Um, uh, it's this, this dying, <laughs> dying and coming back thing. It's, it's got me a bit rattled. I just want some time to think about it. Um, you, you take your time. There is no rush. And I can assure you, you stay close to me. <coughs> you will live. And think about this. Some of us die. So the others do not have to. Oh, well, I'll be thinking about it. At least tonight. I want to put my best foot forward. You know, I want to be able to help with your... With your quest. You know, to find, to find what you're looking for. I believe I could help you. I just... Dying is a bit much. Um, yeah, I've and I've I've got to carry on for something. I've got some unfinished business here in Waterdeep. And he looks at Verm, and he says, "With Xanathar. So, if I go dying, I wouldn't be able to finish that business. I'm not saying no." You know, to uh, I'm not I'm not pulling I'm not withdrawing my interest tonight, so I'll leave it that way. I, but I'm really glad I met you boys, um, and lady, uh, wherever she is, or ladies. And I was just looking around for Zosa, who he overlooks again, even though she's actually within view. <laughs> um, and he says, uh, "Well, for for the rest of tonight, we can just enjoy being alive, yeah." Maybe we can do that. And not we talk can. about all this, all this dark death stuff. We can, but you need, like Mandate said, to know what you're getting into. If you don't think you're fit, that's fine. Osric nods. Uh, he's not exactly meeting anyone's eyes at the moment, so he just drinks the rest of his beer. Hey, did you say my name? Hmm? I thought I heard... Loco, say my name. Verm, why don't you explain to Tiny One what it is we are looking for? And maybe mm. he can do the research as he said. And as he researches, possibly the fire will grow within him to join us and to seek what we seek. We are looking for a mysterious black blade. One that we have not found yet. Who knows if we'll ever find it, but the mystery and the, the price tag put on it is something to be desired. Um, at this point, Osric starts suffering the effects of the Dwarven Ale. Because he uh -oh. got a six for his constitution check. <laughs> Even if I use the arcane deflection to give him a plus four bonus on the save, it would still just be a ten. So, I, I think he's probably pretty sick at this point. Um, well, Osric, uh, just kind of like sits back in his chair. And, and when he sits down, his head just <laughs> disappears. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting in the chair, but he's so small that you know, he's, he's just below table height. All you can see is just a sandy mop on top of his head. <laughs> well, we can call it there for the night. We, we can talk about this at another date. If yeah. not his best. He's still awake. You know, he hasn't really fallen asleep or anything. And he's like, yeah, bl a, a, bl a blade. Um, yeah. It's, uh, so like a magic sword or something. Is that it? Is that what you're looking for? Or is, is that what you put your lives on the line for? Yeah. Tell me who it was constructed by. 
Do we even know who it was constructed by? Nope. Mm. Oh, I thought we did. Sorry. We know, I'm... like, the master blacksmith that we thought mm. it was constructed by, but we were never told. I imagine you maybe asked this, like, in character, <laughs> and everyone's like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> and Osric's like, I could probably... <laughs> I could probably find out, you know, I could make a trip to some blacksmiths and some metal workers around here and find something, <coughs> find something out. Um, have you had any luck doing your own research or finding any information about it beforehand before you go putting yourselves in danger and, and whatnot? I mean, we've had clues, but no, no sheer, like, evidence. I mean, we, we heard about this blacksmith called Dernadin, and, um, I'll point to Borg's back. I'm assuming that's where your great axe is. And I'll say he, he forged that, the great axe that one has. Huh. So he's a bit of a, like an, like an arcane weapons dealer. Um, so made the, the black blade. As well as, so you've already found one of the weapons then, yeah? And he's like gesturing towards Borg's axe. Yeah, I mean, we don't know for sure if he made him. This is just all what we think. We don't know for sure, but I guess that's a point of interest that we could look at. Okay, maybe in the morning. I Did think you... I'm going to, and then he just like leans over and starts throwing up. Like off the chair, so it kind of like splatters onto the floor and makes a mess. <laughs> Lightweights. <laughs> That's what Turn you in. Clean That's up what... on aisle three. Torn... God drink damn his, uh, it! His second lug. <laughs> Torrent, hold back his hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I, it's fine. I'm better. I've rallied. I've, it's my second wind. I could do another, another one. No. <laughs> Maybe you should go to bed. Maybe I should go to bed. Maybe you should sleep on what we've told you. I. Maybe I should, but I have to go and find that girl, and find out what she, what she's researching about the lycanthropy. <laughs> like guys. <laughs> Not so loud. If I put my hand over his mouth. A were rat, then I, I put can... my. <laughs> what was that I overheard about lycanthropy? He said, "Can I pee?" That's what he said. Um, and I'll mm -hmm. I'll usher him to I'll usher him to a room. I was written yeah. off his head up and down as if to say, <laughs> yeah, you're have to pee. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick trip to the privy, and then we can, you and me, Verm, 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 is your name? Wait, Yeah, you, Verm. Verm or Toby? Verm, that Verm. that's Toby. Verm. Oh, both, really. <laughs> well, we are all one we entity. And, we can go and find Miss Yania and ask her about her like hunter P project. I I Matt, I put my hand over his, oh. his mouth again. <laughs> oh, no, David. you can't pee here. This is the bar, and I'll I'll take him to a room. I'll pee wherever I please. <laughs> and Mazric Thorn Bottom, damn it! <laughs> Curse the little Mia, damn it! <laughs> 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 I think shortly afterwards, Osric passes out. <laughs> just he he uh he uh, just hit the whole way. As a matter of fact, Zotha bought him a room for the night. Uh, so I, I, he I smack his head on a couple doorways on the way to his room. Verm, <laughs> just, uh, before yeah. before you you leave the tavern area, you feel someone breathing on your neck right behind you, in a very hushed tone, like. A uh, low tone voice you just hear if he pees on the ground, I'm cleaning it up with you. <laughs> oh, Durned, I, I didn't say he could pee on the ground. I told him not to. Osric's head wound is just gushing blood onto the step. <laughs> <laughs> Builds character. <laughs> 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 
Oh, uh, Bowser loses six wisdom points. Hang on a second. Six wisdom. <laughs> modify my character sheet here. He looks. <laughs> for, he looks over to Osric and goes, eh, "That'll scar up real nice. Cheeks deep scars." <laughs> so Osric's unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bring him to his room or whatever, and I'll I'll head back to the bar. <laughs> So wow. I, think, I think at this point Zosa has finished up her conversation. It's probably like well into the evening. So yeah. while that's going on, Zosa and, and Zorik have parted ways. Whatever that conversation held, who knows? Find out on the next episode of Yawning oh, Portal. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're having all these dialogue episodes. This is the filler. Yeah, it's yeah. the filler episodes. Yeah. Filler episodes. <laughs> Rock the dragon. Game uh, where you into the characters. I'll walk back to the bar and I'll say, "Well, what did, what did you guys think about him?" You Torrent would be balancing uh, his second tankard on the on the corner, you know, like trying to find the perfect balance for the mug over, and he'll kind of mumble, eh, "I I kind of like it, even though he's a bit flippant." Even though he's a little weak, you know, that arm wrestle. <laughs> Torrent's Torrent, like, I like him because I can beat him. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I like him because he has a lot to learn. Ooh. You gonna to learn today. Would say that to you? <laughs> no, I came up with that just now. Pretty cool, huh? You're drunk, aren't you? No. He's also <laughs> A little. Comes up. <laughs> Always. Zosa comes up and she says, uh, Where did the little one go? Mr. Thornbuck. I saw him getting drunk. That was pretty mm -hmm. fun. It was, wasn't it? I imagine there's not much room for beer in his tiny belly. Yeah, he handled it pretty well, to be fair. Mm -hmm. uh, How you many people could make it to a second one? <laughs> Uh, you guys can see that uh, Zosa's cheeks are a little rosier tonight. Um, she has been drinking wine uh, for the first time in, in several years. Uh, like I said on the previous session, uh, she was convinced to have a glass of wine, and so she's been indulging in it with her conversations with Zorik. Uh, so she's a little bit uh, tipsy, but not like drunk drunk, you know. Not nasty girl. Not, not like Osric. <laughs> not like Osric. <laughs> Clearly embarrassed himself on the most important day that he's had in the last six months. <laughs> I like how I like how we got rid of one character, so now you'll need to play one again. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I know what I'm. Yeah. They're never in the same room at the same time. Yeah, I'm not one is the other, but you never see him. In the same <laughs> that kid you brought. He keeps referring to you as Mrs. Most Becky. Where did I he your last that? name was? I thought your last name was Dos Becky. Doseki. They come in misconception with you, Vum. You keep making that mistake. Miss My bad. Mosbeki. Mosbeki of the Mosbeki clan. Back in Chotes. I ruled empires. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I cannot I speak for his mannerisms or his manners, but, you know. I think you pick up Torrance emphasizing on the misses part. <laughs> Cannot speak to that. I do not know. Bum, oh, wow. bum, bum. <laughs> um, Maybe he knows something we don't. Uh, you guys would probably know throughout our travels uh, that um, that Zosa did used to be married. Uh, eventually, you guys probably all would have seen the same ring that Bandal saw once. Uh, we we did that scene in the. Um. It was like a it was like a sepulcher for uh, the dead uh, blacksmith, and I did a scene where she revealed her wedding ring. Um, she, and over time, she would have had her gloves off. You guys would have seen the ring, maybe asked about it. Um, I'll I'll just say that you guys know she used to be married, but you don't exactly know the circumstances of that marriage, or or why she's not married anymore. Or what What's going on? Torrent won't pry. Ugly breakup. Huh? They said ugly breakup. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was, it was ugly. I costed the battle and everything. 
<laughs> no, but um, Zosa says uh, that Zurich character. He he has an interesting one. He, um, in many ways, he has a lot to teach and provide. But in other ways, I see that he has maybe things to learn. We did not have. It was not as. How do I say? Pleasant. As I thought it would be, but it was nice to have someone to talk to of my particular persuasion. And she kind of like slams her fi her fist onto her armor, which she's wearing like she's like all kitted up. So, so you know he ate rats. Who? <clears throat> Zork, the guy you were just talking to. He eats rats. I believe he said something about that, yes. That's... You know the rat that was doing your errands for a little bit? Yes. She ate, she ate its parents. That did not come up in our conversation. <laughs> Strangely like enough. Chaos rain. <laughs> oh, Vermax surprised. We've eaten rats. I haven't eaten a rat. <clears throat> no, but you did wear a tie. I did wear one. Yeah. one. <laughs> There's a difference, though. Weeks. <laughs> we've we've been, been around. Rats. It was like a, it was like a month. It was like a month. Yeah, that would be weeks. It was like a month. I am not afraid to say that I have been in a desperate situation that called for such such lifestyle and behavior, but that is the life of a soldier. Yeah. yeah. She was just in the streets of Waterdeep. She just ate, she was just eating rats, or he was just eating rats. Well then, I fall back on my previous statement. There are, <laughs> there are some things about him that I could not figure out or resolve in one evening of conversation. Alas, he had to leave, so hopefully we will meet again. I feel like we still have much to discuss. Did you see the arm wrestle? I got glimpses. It seems like you had a bit of a struggle, but you were able to defeat the child in the end, Torrent. Good for you. Stronger than he looks. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been an embarrassment had I not been able to beat a child. No, and you cannot stand for embarrassment. Of course not. And she, like, slaps the back of your... She slaps you on the back. <laughs> well, I'm not a stranger Wait. to being embarrassed, but... <laughs> So uh, not good for the group's reputation. <laughs> Zosa laughs. Is 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 Osric an orphan? Zosa? I do not know. Oh, I did no. not narrows his eyes and looks towards his bedroom. I did not inquire about his family lineage. Perhaps I should have. You are right. Why don't we go wake him up right now? Oh, I don't think it's a, a good, good idea. idea. That it sounds really like isn't. a great idea. Go wake up, Oswald. <laughs> only if, only if uh, Zos is in the same room as him. Oh, no, I, I won't allow that. <laughs> it's not, not even in now the that bed. I have brought him into the group, I will never speak to him again. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You hate being around him so much. The whole thing was a mistake. Pieces. I'm gonna mix up the voices so bad. Yeah, you just get a one session for Osric to start talking in the Zosa accent. Yeah, this is. I'm just gonna sit here and just have a conversation with myself for the next ten minutes, and you guys can watch because I know you. Can watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Listen, I have to tell you, if for some reason you don't think Mr. Thornbottom would be a good fit, I completely understand. He, uh, when I spoke to him, I was telling Bandal earlier, but when I spoke to him, he gave me the impression that he had some kind of project he was working on here in the city. And when I pressed him about his combat experience, there was something a bit off about him. It seemed as though he was lost in thought or misplacing his words. He did not readily answer all my questions about what he has been doing lately for work. So, 
I think I you lied about what happened to the bar. Yes, he, he, he used to work at a bar, but he would not go into details. In it the conversation I had with him, he brought up the fact that it was not, not a bar anymore, and for some reason I felt like he wasn't telling me the whole truth. He would not go into details. It seemed to me that he was having trouble recalling the information in his own mind. It is something that you may have to pressure him on, because I think it may be important to make sure he is there mentally, 100%. In the thick of combat, we cannot stand for hesitation. <laughs> Another good. thing I will mention is, if you think Mr. Thornbottom would not work for you, then there are others that I have been speaking with. So, if you want, I can provide you a list of the people I have been vetting. I can have them come by and meet with you. But, Mr. Thornbottom is the only one who is experienced in the arcane arts, which is why I brought him here. I believe that someone of that kind of caliber of skill would be useful to you. Perhaps even in light of the issues that we just discussed. So, it is there if you want to think about it. But, I believe I have made up my mind for now. I am planning to stay in Waterdeep, at least for a while. I may join you later, but my conversation with Zurich has made me feel even more strongly that I should stay with the church for a while and recalibrate my thinking. I want to train with the priests here. I want to be able to carry the message of Helm with full radiance that it deserves. This is something I am doing for me and for you. I am not so much abandoning you as I am just preparing myself. If you end up going into the portal without me, then so be it. But I, I need this time for myself. Please understand. It sounds to me like perhaps you are in a hurry to continue into the portal again. I so. need to go pick up a cloak in the morning. The haste is not as important as the... as the outcome of our well-being. That is to say, you. He looks at you and he looks almost into your soul as he says, you must follow your own path if your path is not with us. Then I pray you will know your path. And so do not, uh, do not apologize. You gave us all of yourself while you were with us. Even unto death. That is all anyone can ask. And I personally want to thank you. As, as far as the tiny one goes, he will have to prove himself, not only to us, but to himself, as you are doing now, you are proving to yourself who you are and what you are. And I commend you for that. I respect you for that. The little one, the tiny one, has not come to us for a job application, but I think he is seeking as Verm has said, something. And if we are to help him, so be it. But our time with you will always be remembered fondly. Any kind of, if your hand is on the table, he, he'll reach out with his big old hand and he'll put it on top. Thank you for your support and your caring. And he kind of just barely 
almost in in uh, perceptibly kind of squints his eyes just a little bit, just as you, so you know that he's talking about the little relationship you guys had to, with each other. Yeah. Uh, Zosa meets her eye. She nods confidently. Uh, and, and she says, um, You have taught me much, Bandal. And for that I am grateful. I knew when I first met you that you are someone to look up to. And I do not mean just in terms of your stature. I mean in terms of the light that you shine into the world. You stand as tall as the grandfather tree both physically, mentally, and spiritually. You've taught me many things. You have, in a way, shown me how far I have to go still. Yeah? And of course, you brought me back to life. And I have mixed feelings about that. Quite frankly, I saw things on the edge, on the edge of life and death, that I, well, they have given me pause. I must pray on these matters in a place where my thoughts can go directly to hell as quickly as possible in a church with my religious peers. I need this time. It is to serve you, all of you. So thank you. And I will leave you with this. And she pulls out a small uh, notebook that she has and just sets it down on the table. It's, uh, it's like a brand new little notebook. It's uh, like maroon in color. Uh, kind of like, uh, like not leather bound, but it's like hard, like it's got like a like hard cardboard or maybe even a thin piece of metal in it uh, to form like a book. And she sets it down. She says, uh, I have written uh, some names and descriptions for people and they are due to come through the yawning portal looking for the expendables. They may come today or tomorrow. Do not know for sure. But I have made these appointments and arrangements using the resources that Zorik left me. And by that, I mean the rat, of course. The messenger <laughs> has been running all over the city, coordinating these things with me. So we will see uh, whether you take little Osric or not. Uh, one way or the other, you will be in good hands while I am away. But for now, I believe I will take my leave and get some sleep. I may take another bottle of wine with me to my room. <laughs> if anyone wants to join me for a nightcap. It's been a while since I have been able to relax. And may the peace of your deity helm bring you what you seek. And if ever you need a friend. You may call on me. And he looks to the others. And I'm sure they will say the same. Thank you. Zosa stands up. She bows. Mandate will stand up as you stand up. Uh, Zosa will give you a hug. <clears throat> It, it, like, is, good night. it is not goodbye. It is merely until we meet again. Indeed. I believe we will. So she says good night. Uh, and she heads upstairs. Bye. <laughs> Toby says that. <laughs> Toby speaks. <laughs> Finally, Toby speaks. The mystery of the Yoni portal. Toby says, finally. At last. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally. My Another time. one down. <laughs> <laughs> the pawns are falling into place. <laughs> As 
band-aid sits down he looks at everyone and says well now what do you think about the tiny one i believe he made a good point about doing some research if he is to join us maybe he can do that research maybe find us more clues about what we seek he just needs to make up his mind on what he's getting into we can't guarantee safety down there that's no not possible no you, you are right there are no guarantees in this life except that the cold chill of death will touch us all yeah torrent one day that oh. alcohol is going to kill you well unless you're master wood chip that could been a hmm. long time <laughs> so or Durnan, as a matter. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, Durnan's, Durnan's pretty. <laughs> so this Listen. is the matter of Yenya. I made her a promise that if she did the research upon this creature that she had become, that I would allow her to have her blood that I extracted from her. I will not go back on that promise if this is what she wants. Is Yen still gone? Yeah. What time of day is it? Are uh, you into the night or? Oh yeah, you're definitely into the night. <laughs> that was a three I hour armor. I you to know that if she makes the decision I will give her the blood back she will have to face the consequences of her actions but those will be hers and hers alone the thing about her making this decision too is if what happens in the worst are, are we prepared to kill her that will have to come along with the decision that she makes to take the blood she will know that i will tell her that if she turns on the group we will have no choice but to in turn react yeah Well, I'm going to call tonight. Yes, I agree. Darren, and he didn't pee on the floor. You're all good. <clears throat> well, that's good. I'll keep an eye out. If you're lying to me, I know what... I mean, I, I don't think I would lie to you. I think you'd kick my ass if I did. Band-Aid gets up and nods his head at everyone and he will head to his room. I will as well. Torrent? Torrent would sit at the table. Drunk. Still, <laughs> still drinking. <laughs> No, even though there's, you know, even though the tavern is crowded and it's pretty chaotic, chaos rages around Torrent in yeah. that he it's finds peace. Thanks for the follow. Um, this is where he's most comfortable when he meditates. Meditate on the bar he, table? I like it. He's going to think about a lot of middle of your meditation Durnan comes over and makes you just <laughs> drink one of the strongest ales he has <laughs> let's see how good you really are <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're pretty good 
Wakes wow. up in a back alley and never went. <laughs> Stop! You violated the law. Get here. <laughs> Pay the fine. <clears throat> Normally, half a tankard of this particular ale goes for a thousand platinum. Let's see how good you are. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a worthy challenge. This battle will be glorious. <laughs> Our battle will be glorious. And nobody will yeah. be there to witness it. <laughs> yeah. just... Bars closed. We're just drinking in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Does Durden ever go to sleep? That's a good question. Have we ever observed mm. him close mm. or like leave the bar at any time? I mean, you've seen no. or heard of him <laughs> like leaving the bar and stuff, but like it never really closes per se. It's always open. Mm. It's like a McDonald's bar. Hour. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's a twenty-four hour tavern. Um, most <laughs> other most other taverns in the in the city uh do tend to close from time to time or you know <clears throat> but uh it, it seems like the, the city doesn't really uh, enforce many <clears throat> many uh, regulations and things of the sort on Dernan so some tend to get closed uh, and some uh, tend to have a beholder go outside of the bar yeah uh Raleigh thank you for the follow welcome to the rejects Or Roly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's late. Words are hard. <laughs> What's English? Yeah, words. Letters. Bruh. Why is there numbers mixed in? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody went to sleep. Um, Osric's drunk. Torrent <laughs> is meditating at the table. Um, and Yin is been off doing research. Yep. Uh, or so we were told. Or so you thought. Uh, <clears throat> go ahead and give me an uh, investigation. Can you? You're an investigator, right? Nope. So we're using my inspiration <laughs> on that. Uh oh, no! Roll a two. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Find the book, uh, and the only word it's written in is beef. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot! Ow! My beef! <laughs> oh, my beef! Uh, you you find a book. Um, written in, uh, it looks like it's an older-ish book, uh, judging from the cover, uh, slightly withered, uh, and definitely worn. Um, you, you can make out, uh, most of the title, uh, it says something along the lines of <clears throat> how to deal with lycanthropy, uh, on yourself. And you open the book to the very first page and it just says don't <laughs> perfect <laughs> uh, now uh you you spend some time around in the the archives <clears throat> you <clears throat> now these are main archives in water deep so you gotta imagine it, they're massive they're huge Yep. You, it takes you a while to navigate through all of the, the possible sections of different uh, informational topics of, of tomes and, and scrolls within this, this archive. <clears throat> you finally uh, manage to somewhat track down like the general area of where, you know, magical curses and afflictions, uh, specifically lycanthropy would be located in um and you find yourself just absolutely overwhelmed by all of the written and documented knowledge that they have there in this archive and you're you're trying to 
sort through wh where you should even start and you start uh, kind of <clears throat> going through several of the I guess the larger tomes ones that look like they would be used that have been used a little bit more um, <clears throat> but the majority of them that you find uh, for this night all kind of detail out the the same informations it's it's basically an encyclopedia on lycanthropy mainly uh effects that it has how to uh counteract them signs to look for <clears throat> basically kind of uh all the information about lycanthropy minus what you're looking for yourself I build a book bed and spend the night so I can start first thing in the morning. <laughs> okay. Book bed. <clears throat> okay, so we will go ahead and advance to the next morning. You all get a long rest. Can you give us a long rest because I have hit the ice missing? No. Um. Okay. <laughs> you will deal with. You'll deal with that missing hit dice, and you'll like it. Uh, <laughs> you did it to yourself. <clears throat> all right. So it is now morning time. What does the party do? I go get my cloak. Made out of feathers. Yes. You have a uh, feathery is this cloak. Early in the morning. Go ahead. I just said Zosa leaves early in the morning. Okay. Like leave, leave, or just like go oh, to the yeah. temple. Oh yeah, Zosa leaves, and that's it. Okay. Very well. Na 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 <clears throat> na. Hey hey hey. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> Osric, give me a Constitution check, please. Uh oh. All right. Yeah. Oh. There's a card redemption. Advantage for Yen. Yeah, your next roll, Yinia, is, your next d20 roll is with advantage. Hopefully you roll a three and a one again. <laughs> Man, that's horrible. Uh, <clears throat> Tuesday, uh, one of the other players had advantage uh, on an attack and rolled two ones. So eh, it happens to the best of us. It happens. Um. <clears throat> Osric, you <clears throat> are not completely trashed the next morning. <clears throat> you you definitely can tell that uh, you probably imbibed a little more than you should have. And by a little, I mean a lot. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, you're, you're... You're hungover. You're not completely trashed the next morning. Yeah, um, Osric's awake, kind of, uh, he's, uh, he's not coming out of his room right now, staying in bed, he's thinking, sort of, mm. he's trying to remember things, thinking as much as Osric can, he's, he's trying to remember, right, what exactly happened last night, <clears throat> and he's trying to remember, the conversations and and his mind keeps going back to uh, a different time in his life and he keeps trying to remember but he's having trouble and it continues to make him nervous as it has for the last six months he's just missing time and he doesn't know why 
he's he feels like he's been off his game off his footing ever since and he thought <clears throat> that this would this opportunity would be something to to set him right again but now that he's met the group and he's thinking about death again and he's thinking about Lionel and what Lionel went through he has uh he's he's just got some thinking to do so he's he's he spends all morning in his room okay <clears throat> and the rest of the the hooligans what do you do Mm. I think I'd be hanging out with Borg and Lionel. <laughs> Lionel. Lionel, sorry, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, where I where the know. hell did he come from? <laughs> it's this Osric man having him around his friends in my brain. It's, 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 they're bleeding together. The worlds are. The camera flips around so, and zooms in on. The back of the brain. Yeah, Lionel, Lionel's there. We're hanging out together. <laughs> Go, with, go ahead, you know, today is a good day. With band -band -band. I, I know hate you, Duff. <laughs> go, go ahead, go ahead, Loco. You got to say do it now. Do the line. You got to do, do the line, line Loco. The yeah. I hate you, Duff. Oh my gosh. Uh, so funny. <laughs> what, what, hey, Loco, what kind of day is it today? It is a good day to die. Yeah. yeah. Can we get Lionel in this group? <laughs> I think Zosa goes and talks to Lionel for a while. <laughs> yes. <laughs> His boss is in there. Anyway, so now, but you look like a killer. Someone who is not afraid of death. Oh my god, I would love that conversation. This. <laughs> who are you sitting with, Torrent? <laughs> Can we bit of a Bit of a slip. Band-Aid and uh, Borg. Band-Aid. <sighs> I guess Band-Aid Band and Grey X. And Lionel. <laughs> and he's no Lionel, but he's good enough. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Shot yeah. fire. Same person. He just called Band-Aid subpar pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Damn, mm. he's certainly no Lionel. <laughs> well, he's no Lionel, but I guess he'll do just fine goes without saying but uh did you hear me say it how, how much <laughs> is the coat gonna cost me jeff uh we'll get to that okay oh i don't like it, that this fat coat <laughs> no it's a it's a Have feather coat. coat that's that coat okay yeah awesome the feather coat you can be like awesome. i'm a little goblin bird <laughs> you're gonna look like a pimp <laughs> I, I need to get a fucking pimp hat for Toby, just like yeah. a top hat. Oh my! <laughs> you're, gonna walk around like, you're gonna look like green Darkwing Duck. You think Zeke is a very small duck. fedora? <laughs> yeah. yeah you should ask. I should, but yes. he doesn't sell hats. Yes, yes. Berm, <laughs> go there <laughs> and ask. He's asking for a hat at the haberdashery. Hashtag we don't sell hats. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna. Can we get that trending on Twitter? Hashtag we don't sell hats. We don't sell hats. <clears throat> Varen, Varen walks into the bar suddenly, like he heard you from across town. Walks right up you to you and says, bitch. "How many times do I have to tell you we don't sell hats?" Point shift. <laughs> yeah. like, I'll keep you my eye on you. Right, be just to another direction. <laughs> Teleport to the hat dimension. Mm -hmm. It's just nothing but hats, and it's like, you want your hat? Okay, pick, I've got a hat for you. <laughs> it's like pick one so you can stop bitching about it already. What did you say? Say it again. Say <laughs> what again? I <laughs> <laughs> I double dog dare you. I triple dog dare you. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get to that. Um. Oh boy, uh, shenanigans. Um, <laughs> Torrent, are you still mm. meditating from the night before? I'm just sitting here with a band aid. Okay. Waiting Lina. for him to talk. Mm. Borg's here too. Okay. Right, Borg. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Uh... Got any, uh... Stories? The stories... <laughs> uh, are, are you a child? Do you... <laughs> do you need a story, Torrent? Well, it's just that, uh, you know, it's always Verm or Zosa talking. You know, we, we, we three don't Who's usually talk that much. Yes, uh, well, in the past months, we have not had a whole lot of time, have we? But certainly I'd be glad to talk. Uh, so, I have been thinking if this tiny one does not join us, then we should go on as we are, no? Hmm. <clears throat> we do have to find the blade. Whether or not he decides. This is true. Uh, it will be hard without Zosa for sure. And the tiny one may or may not have made a difference if he does not decide to join us, but as you have said, we we must find the sword. Hmm. Even with Osric, it'll be difficult to <laughs> fill the hole left by Zosa's departing. You are very, very correct. I'm... But, uh, I believe this will only make us stronger. Uh, we can we cannot dwell on the loss of Zosa. Mm. But the one thing the tiny one said that resonates within me is that we should do some research on this black blade not just chase the bone that it is in the yawning portal. Hmm. And then there is the elephant in the room, if you will, that uh, Yenya may wish to change as she had before. Yenny has pulled us from, well, I speak for all, pulled us from the fire more than once. So I respect your decision, and I trust you, but... I do as well. This can go very wrong, and it could become very dangerous, not only for us, but for the people of this city. I would agree with you. I... I'm sworn to your group as an adventurer to finish this task, but, uh, I'm also sworn to the people of Waterdeep, and I will protect them. So, if... I don't like where things are going, I'm afraid I'll have to protest. That is your right, my friend. And I respect your decision. Whatever it is, but we must also respect Yenyas. Although, having said that, I do believe she wishes this upon herself for the wrong reasons. She wishes it for power. She is not thinking clearly. If she decides, I promised. I will not go back on that promise. Master Woodchip always did have an old saying that if there is an easy way to do something, it might not always be the best. So, in a way, I think we feel the same about this. I know very little about 
and he whispered, and he kind of looks around, and this change. But I do know that it is a curse. And that the very word curse brings about nothing but misfortune and pain and suffering. Mm. Borg? <clears throat> what do you think? I try not to think too hard. It is easier that way. But he is right. I think we think we'll know what to do when the time comes. Yes, just I hope the time that we decide and we know what to do is not disadvantageous to us. If I have already said if we must take action against Yenia because she has turned on the group, then so be it, we will, but th that is her decision to make as well. She will know all of the consequences from her research. The one thing she may not know is how she will be received if she turns on the group. Of, of the few things that I know of this curse is I believe it cannot be controlled. It is controlled, I believe, by the phases of the moon. And, and that is basically all I know. But mm. I know one thing. I, for one, am not sure if I can trust her if she decides to continue down that path. That is a very strong and good point. I do not know how to answer that. Only Yenia herself is able to do that. Trust is earned and not given. Would you not agree? Indeed. As mm -hmm. of today, Yania has earned our trust. And despite her decision, I will continue to trust her until she gives me reason not to. What say the both of you? Yeah. Very um, profound. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not much to be said. I think you've um I think you've said everything. I I would agree with. And I can assure you the things that I have said on this subject both last night and today will be reiterated to Yenya. She may blindly make her decision, but she will not make it without knowing how we all feel and the circumstances that may come. So, now that we are in, all in good mood, how about some breakfast? I could eat. How about some bedtime stories, Torrent? Tell me the one about, uh, 
Tell me the one about the, uh... The one about the, the stone. You know, the one that, um... Uh, those adventurers were looking for. And there was the beholder. And the, uh, And there was something about a whip. I'm sorry, who's asking for this? <laughs> we, don't, we don't have time. We don't have time. We Here's a whip crack in the background. Oh, I, think we have time. I think we have all day. All day? <laughs> Where is Osric? He's, Osric's he's not like, there right yeah, now. Yeah, he went out, right? Mm, Osric, is, uh, Osric has not come out of his room yet. It's oh, still really? morning. Yeah, it's still morning. Oh, okay. He's still reconsidering his life choices after yesterday. Yeah, I don't know what time it is right now, but uh, I, yeah, I made mention of Osric's not coming out of his room till later in the day. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, eat breakfast with the, uh, two of these guys. Zos is absent. On a lighter note, uh, I am afraid that I have scared the tiny one, uh, into maybe not joining us. It was not my intention. I just wanted to, him to understand what we were getting into, adventurers, though we may be. Our time below was not just an adventure. It was all-consuming and possible, possible life-taking. Hmm. I, I would let no one join us without them knowing what they are up against with us. Everyone in this group is well prepared for what goes below. The tiny one has never been. So I, 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 I hope I did not scare him off. I know each one of us would lay down our lives for him, even him being a new member. Hmm. Well, maybe I speak out of turn, but... No. <laughs> To carry uh, on the mission. So like, no, nah, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. no, 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 no. I'm all of you to assume, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm stopping him. As you know, you're not speaking out of. I would. He's. He's a child. I. I would be comfortable enough laying down my life. Uh. I think. Um. I think you're. Re you're very much correct that. Uh, the underprepared. Uh, or um, those who don't understand what to expect uh, once we're down there uh, would only be uh, a hindrance to us and to themselves. I uh, agree. A very good point. As, um, as I'm sure we remember, death is a very real part of uh, what we do. Uh, Unfortunately, Eldar knows that all too well. Yes. This is true. And it appears uh, Zosa has come to that realization as well. She has chosen a different path for the time being. And I hold nothing against her for that. This can take its toll not only on the body, but the mind and the spirit. I think our last escapade may have literally hit a little too close to home for us. Oh, Jay, Lord Gasuma, thank you for the raid. How's it going, everybody? Ah, oh, Jay, thanks Just for the reset. Just in time reset. for RP. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been pulling on this arena for a long time. Gonna... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> We're really yanking on this arena. <laughs> so you did have to repeat it. We we got it the first time. I'm just trying to completely demonetize the stream. So, <laughs> That's <you know>. fair. <laughs> yep. I just accomplished. Hate you more today than I did yesterday, but Thank not you. as much as I will tomorrow. Let me that ask. happened exactly 38 episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> was, that the, was that the hookers and condoms joke, or was it the, the orphan? Oh my god, stop. No, I think, I think that was episode 22. Yeah. <laughs> I was with the streets of LA. 
Yeah, I was gonna say all the syringes <laughs> in the streets. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the syringes. That I think we've all we've all done our fair part. I, you know what? I've got no, to you you've done only. it. You've done at least two of the three main issues. I, I think I have a list of the timestamps oh. here for those. All right. <laughs> Post those into the chat real quick. Um, <clears throat> Duff doesn't mind if I just throw some hyperlinks into the chat. Let's get a montage. Hookers and hobbits. Oh, yeah, hookers <laughs> and hobbits. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much pretty much there's nobody yeah. there to read it everybody's left so it's okay. yeah <laughs> but he was like what is happening with this group <laughs> if i can try to get back i mean get back on track better than i ask these torrent yeah any anyway. yeah, orphan hater um, yeah. excuse me has <laughs> has anybody picked up or read uh the the little folio that zosa left behind yeah uh no Did okay it... so it got lost thrown away no problem y yeah <laughs> <laughs> no it was it should nah, have been still it... on the table i would Very guess easy, yeah right? it was either on the table or somebody picked it up and took it to the room some kid was busing Let, and let's he... say <laughs> since torrent was the last one at the table torrent still has the book so while we're talking i'll take it out of my satchel and i'll put it on the table and i'll uh i'll say uh uh, we can talk about Osric uh, later. Right? He'll find his way. But in the event that doesn't work out, Zosa did leave us this book of uh, contacts, dossiers. I'm not quite sure what is exactly inside. I haven't opened it, but I trust that there are some there are some good contacts in here. <coughs> Yeah, the question is, do we wish to take even more time? We have research to do. And do we also need to take the time to, as the tiny one, and he looks upstairs, as the tiny one has said, to interview everyone in this booklet? Hmm. No, we don't. But... Time is, uh, ample at the moment. Not only are we researching the blade, Yenia is researching whatever she's like. And Osric is trying to find the confidence to join our group, so... It's not exactly like we can jump down the well again anytime soon. You speak the truth. Well spoken. Well, I will leave you, if you do not mind, to the interview process of those contained within the book. I will try my best to find out what I can about what we seek. If the tiny one comes down and says he will join us, then please send him on his own quest to research as much as he can. Very well. Um, Borg? Are you going with him, or are you going to help me? I can stay here and help you. Okay, that, that makes me feel a lot better. Good luck, Mandy. Yes, uh, if... Yenya should return with her completed research. Please uh, fetch me as quickly as possible. Uh, I should not be hard to find in the city. Be safe. I th thank you. Thank you. So, uh, guess I'll open up the book and, um, start looking at the list. It's trapped. <laughs> a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> I'm the right man for that job. <laughs> give, give me a saving, a saving throw against death, please. God damn it, Zosa. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, you open up this little booklet. There's not much to it. Uh, 
it's, it's not really a notebook after all. It's uh, it's like a small folio and inside are a bunch of uh, paper notes and small folded up letters and stuff. Mm. And as you're looking through it, you start getting the impression that there's uh, there's six little sections. Uh, and uh, on the front page, there's a, a short list. Uh, it says uh, female human, medical doctor. Male human with a question mark next to that word. And then gladiator, question mark. Uh, and then the next line says male dragonborn, dock ward, tavern bouncer. And then the next line says male halfling, arcane master. And then in parentheses, Zosa wrote down the words weak minded. Mm -hmm. And then uh, male tiefling, arcane warrior. And then Zosa put in parentheses bad temperament. And she underlined it twice. And then the last one, a little bit further down the page after she has scratched out a couple lines, uh, the last one says, male fishman, question mark, and then quote unquote, ambassador to Waterdeep. And then the remaining pages are, are little uh, handwritten communique between all of these different people and Zosa, presumably coordinated through the use of the rat messenger. <laughs> it's just like rat hair scanning. Oh my god. <laughs> There's just like two little That's great. <laughs> bits of like candy and stuff, and there's hair all over it, and it's not on one edge. <laughs> hmm. Smells like a rat. Speaking of rat hair <laughs> ish, uh, <clears throat> Dinia, you arise in the morning to, from your book bed, if you will, to <clears throat> begin. Sifting through mounds and mounds and mounds of tomes and scrolls, trying to find the information you are trying to garner. Um, go ahead and give me another investigation check. At advantage. Oh. Disadvantage. advantage. <clears throat> wow. It's a sign. <laughs> the, the dice gods have spoken to you twice now. Um, it's a sign saying your DM doesn't want to put that much effort into working this out. <laughs> I just went back and looked at the number uh, just now because I had a, I was I got on the Twitch screen so I didn't see the number pop up and I go back and I saw him like two, one, roll with advantage, seven. <laughs> it's like yeah. fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's terrible. Um, okay, <laughs> you're 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 still not necessarily having any luck with this. Um, <clears throat> you're you kind of start to like rub your forehead with your with your eyes closed. It's like oh, how hard can it be to find this information that I'm trying to find out of all of these books, and you are literally surrounded by them because you're in the water deep archives, <clears throat> and you just kind of set your hand down, kind of out of aggravation on the table, and you look down. And you notice a single hair growing out of one of your fingers that is much longer than any that you have seen. And it almost looks like a single strand of fur. And that is where we will hold until my next time. <clears throat> um, not, the, not the feather coat. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> normally tomorrow night we would have a uh, tomb of annihilation, but I believe if I read correctly that disadvantage, um, <clears throat> if I read co correctly, uh, that game is canceled for tomorrow night. Um, uh, so I don't believe there will be any tomb of annihilation tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> this weekend. Coming up, we have the Gamers Forgiving charity event being spearheaded by Josh, aka Mech45. Uh, <clears throat> it's it's a 24-hour charity stream event. It'll be uh, several different uh, tabletop RPG uh, sessions going on. Not necessarily all of them are D and D per se. They might be rules. Uh, like D and D rule set based, but one of them is like a Scooby Doo theme type thing, and a bunch of 
wackiness um to two and two and uh it'll be fun <clears throat> um <clears throat> the uh against the slave lords um the all-female campaign uh with duff as the the dm uh will still be taking place saturday night here on the channel it'll be part of the charity event uh, so there will be no change there uh no no programming sunday uh next week uh the channel will be dark as we are getting ready for uh gary con uh next weekend so that also means that we won't be back here on thursday next week but we will return the following week for a special april fool's day edition of tales from the yawning portal i've got some crap planned for these guys they don't know about it yet so it'll be fun at least for me uh i'm sure it'll be fun for everyone oh i absolutely think it'll be fun for everyone uh i know for a fact it'll be fun for me uh <laughs> how's it going Corey? uh <clears throat> so that being said but normally uh under normal circumstances on mondays we have <clears throat> uh dragon of ice spire peak uh live stream exclusively to our youtube channel with uh sam as the dm there uh tuesdays here back on twitch with duff as dm uh we have water deep dungeon of the mad mage wednesdays we usually have uh vampire the masquerade uh victorian age i believe yeah victorian age <clears throat> uh here on the twitch channel with mech 45 as the storyteller thursdays we have tales from the yawning portal uh fridays we have tomb of annihilation with dm mandy uh saturdays we have rise against the slave lords the all-female cast with duff as the dm and also on the youtube channel we have a non-stream game which is savage worlds east texas university with uh <clears throat> eric b as the dm um that one uh that particular series we do a little differently all the shows are pre-recorded and then they're they're edited cut up uh and then uploaded to youtube so definitely keep uh keep an eye out on when those go live um <clears throat> uh unfortunately we when we come back we might be down a player for uh uncle sam type reasons but you know with everything we just kind of uh deal with the punches as they come so that being said i will quit rambling on now uh players do you have anything to say before we cut it for the night my beef my beef <laughs> my beef awesome session in spite of things Awesome Glad that Lionel finally made a cameo. <laughs> good day. It's a good day to die. Long awaited cameo. Long awaited. Yes. Very long awaited. Um, that being said, uh, we'll go ahead and enroll the outro. Uh, thanks for all the resubs and the new follows tonight. Um, and thanks for everybody watching with us. And Jay, uh, Lord Gasumba, thanks for the raid. Uh, always good to see you my friend and um yeah on that note we'll, we'll we'll hit the outro and we'll we'll see everybody in two weeks so yeah have a good one everyone. two weeks bye night, be safe everyone <laughs>